Boys and girls, my name is Katie O'Donoghue and I'm the author and illustrator of the children's book, The Little Squirrel Who Worried. And I'm here with the Kerry Library today for the Ireland Reads campaign. And I'm going to be sharing with you a selection of some of my favorite storybooks from Irish authors and publishers. So today I have a lovely story for you and that is Puffling and the Egg. So it is published by O'Brien Press. It's written by Erica McGann and illustrated by Jerry Daly. It's also the follow on book from Where Are You Puffling? A lovely, beautiful book. And I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So get comfy, find your favorite cushion or your cozy blanket or your teddy, and let's get ready to hear the story. Puffling and the Egg. The sun was shining over Skellig Michael, and it was a very windy day. A puffling popped her head out of the burrow. What's this, she cried. You must be lost, little egg. Don't worry, I'll help you get back to your nest. Just then, a gust of wind blew and the egg went rolling down the hill. Oh no, cried the puffling said. It's lost and I must get it back to its nest. Oh dear, the cormorant replied. Then tie this bit of seaweed around it. Maybe that will help. The puffling pulled and pulled the egg up the hill, but then the wind blew and the seaweed slipped off her wings. Oh no, cried the puffling. She spotted the egg in a rabbit's burrow. My baby bunnies just love their new toy, the rabbit told her. That's not a toy, said the puffling. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh my goodness, said the rabbit. Then maybe this bit of fluff will help. Keep it warm in the meantime. The puffling pulled and pulled the egg along the path. Then another gust of wind blew and the egg went tumbling down. Oh no, cried the puffling. She found the egg outside a storm petrel's home. It's so windy today, the storm petrel said, but this excellent wind blocker is keeping out the breeze. That's not a wind blocker, said the puffling. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh my, said the storm petrel. Then take that path over the grass so it doesn't get caught on the sharp stones. The puffling pulled and pulled the egg over the grass. Suddenly the wind blew and the egg went rolling into the sea. Oh no, cried the puffling. Underwater, she saw the egg dangling on a sunfish's fin. Look at my fin decoration, the sunfish said. It makes me look ever so fancy. That's not a fin decoration, the puffling said. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Golly, said the sunfish, then you should catch it quickly before it floats away. The puffling dived into the sea. Out of nowhere came a strong current and the egg went swirling through the water. Oh no, cried the puffling. She spotted the egg in an octopus's tentacles. This is my favorite stone, said the octopus. It's so smooth and round, I might keep it forever. That's not a stone, said the puffling. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh dear, said the octopus. Then I'll wrap it up tightly with neat tidy bows. The puffling swam and swam, pulling the egg. Then a big wave came along and she was tossed and turned and the egg disappeared. Oh no, cried the puffling. She finally found it on a porpoise's tail. This ball is just great, the porpoise said to his friends. We can play with it all day. That's not a ball, said the puffling. It's an egg and I must get it back to its nest. Oh goodness, said the porpoise. Then I'll bat it back to shore. We'll have to go fetch it, be quick. The pufflin picked up the egg on the shore. Then she dragged and she hauled and she pushed and she pulled until finally the egg reached the top of the hill. Two puffin neighbors were worried. Their burrow was empty and they couldn't find their egg anywhere. I found an egg, the puffling called out. It rolled down the hill and over the path. It slipped down the grass and into the sea. It swirled in the waves and got bounced back to shore. And now it's back here where it's meant to be. Oh, thank you, Puffling, 
said the puffins. And then the egg cracked and cracked and cracked and out popped a little round head with fluffy black feathers. Oh, you're a puffling, said the puffling, just like me. Night was falling on Skellig Michael and two pufflings sat safe and warm in their beds. The big puffling peeked her head out of the burrow. I hope tomorrow is a very windy day. Then we can have another adventure. The end. What a lovely story. So now everyone, after reading Puffling and the Egg, I'd like you to have a think. And I'd like you to get a piece of paper, maybe some pens or some pencils, colors, whatever you have at home. And I'd like you to draw your very own egg. But I'd like you to have a think. If you found egg using your imagination, what or who do you think might be inside that egg? Now, remember to send your pictures into the Kerry Library so we can have a look at all your wonderful artwork. And thank you so much for joining me today for reading The Puffling and the Egg. So take care, everyone. I'll see you soon for the next story. Bye.